Hey everyone, Alex here for Bright Dog Academy. If you'd like me to personally answer any questions you may have about your dog, be sure to head over to brightdog.com where you can learn about my online training program, plus pick up a copy of the official Bright Dog Academy ebook. So let's get right into this. Now, dog training. Dog training has changed so much over the past, it's constantly evolving, but let's say the past, you know, 30 years, it has really, really changed a lot. The old way of training dogs was, you know, through fear, through force, through intimidation. That the dog had to listen to you, uh, fear, force, had to listen to you because you're the boss and whatever you say goes. And these, this was the old style of training that 30 years ago, that's all we knew. But just like everything, we've had research, we've had science, we've had studies done, and we now know that this is not the most effective way to train dogs. Not only is it not the most effective way, but using these methods of force, of fear, of you know, uh, aggressive compliance-based methods, it leads to a lot of negative side effects in your dog. And that is something we want to avoid. So, if we don't use fear, if we don't use force, what do we do? Well, what I like to call my method of training is care-based. And the reason I call it care-based is because we really take into account our dog's feelings, our dog's emotional state when it comes to training. And when, with training our dogs, people hear that word and it's very easy to just go, oh, training, that just means basic obedience. Sit, down, stay, come, you know, stop jumping, stop barking. But training is more than just teaching your dog to stop barking. It's more than just teaching your dog to sit when I say sit. sit. Training is about building the bond between you and your dog. And this is what care-based training is all about. Care-based training, you take into account your dog's emotional state, your dog's feelings. Now, of course, dogs learn like dogs. They don't learn, they don't learn like humans. So, but, I, but I want you to consider your dog as a human in the sense of how would you like to be treated? Would you treat your, are you treating your dog the way you would want to be treated? All right? So when I say t think of your dog as, as a human and the emotional underlying state, it's not, of course, I'm not saying to, to train your dog like a human and that they learn the same way. Of course not. But we want to treat our dog, like I said, the same way we want to be treated. And when you do that, you're going to build a bond with your dog. And this is the most important part of dog training. If you want your dog to listen to you, your dog has to has to love you. Your dog want, is gonna needs to want to listen to you. That's that's the most effective way of getting a dog to listen. When you have a, a very common issue that I work with a lot of owners is the dog ignores their commands, and in some cases it's just we haven't practiced the command correctly. But in some cases, when we look at the underlying emotional response of the dog, it's that the dog doesn't have a strong bond to the owner. And for whatever reason, it could be that maybe in the past the dog was abused by people. Um, maybe the owner was using fear or, or uh, aggressive techniques and that was ruining the bond. So what we do with care-based training is the, the most important thing is at all times, any technique we're using, any training we're doing, we always keep in, in mind the underlying emotional state of the dog. We want to make sure we're doing everything we can to increase the bond with our dog. And by treating them as a human, not, not, not literally, but, but keeping in mind, you know, the, would you want them to be, you know, how would you want to be treated? And treating your dog the same way, as far as not using force, not using fear, not physically hitting them, um, you know, things like that, you're going to build the bond much quicker. And the quicker you build this bond with your dog, the better behavior your dog is going to have, right? So this is just part one, a little intro on care-based training, kind of the, the you know, methods behind it and the reasoning behind why we do it. Once we build a bond with our dog, that's, that's the most important thing. And when you get a better bond with your dog, almost immediately you start seeing results and start seeing a dog that listens better, right? So this is part one, just an intro to care-based training.